What is Beetlejuice's favorite streaming app? Showtime. No? No? No reaction? Crickets? Okay. Well, with that being said, let's get into it. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns, and today we are going to be reviewing and recapping Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yes, we are a little late to the party on this one. I wasn't able to see Beetlejuice, can't say it three times, until a few weeks into its run in theaters. I finally got around to seeing it, and since... Halloween is about a month away, and we're entering October very soon. I figured, well, this would be the perfect time to do it, because it's spooky season. So with that being said, let's dive right in to all things Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Be don't, don't, don't do that, Bobby. Now, this is a spoiler review. If you were late to the party like I was, well, in this case, you'd be even later, and you plan on seeing this movie and you don't want to get spoiled, click off of this review right now. But the good thing about this, when you watch it, I will still be here to review it and you can still listen and watch. Ain't that great? It's perfect. So, like I said, if you haven't seen it, go see it and then come back and uh, we can talk about it. So yes, spoiler review, diving right in in three, two, one. We start off with the old timey graphics, of course, Tim Burton. We love it. I thought it was great. We see Lydia, she's doing like a podcast, and it's crazy how much they made Winona Ryder look like she did back in 88. Obviously, you could tell she's older, but still same face. And maybe they did that on purpose, maybe it was CGI, I don't know. But it was pretty cool. She's talking to her guest, and then all of a sudden, she looks in the crowd, and she sees Beetlejuice. But he disappears, and she starts to go crazy. So Lydia has a bottle of pills. Her boyfriend and producer at the time, Rory, played by Justin Thoreau. Pretty funny character that they added to this movie. I did enjoy him for the most part. He was a little over the top at some points, but that was the plan of the character. He throws out the pills, but she negotiates with him to get it just through her that day. Lydia disappears to go find Delia. Hello, Catherine O'Hara. And Catherine O'Hara was probably one of the best parts of this movie, for sure. And uh, we find out Catherine O'Hara's husband, Jeffrey Jones in Beetlejuice 1, died. But... The way we find out how he died is pretty hysterical. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> She's like, it was a plane crash. And she, Lydia's like, oh my God, a plane crash? She goes, no, he survived that. It was the drowning. He drowned? No, he didn't drown. But he did get eaten by a shark. And we see the cartoon version of him getting eaten by the shark. And if you don't know why Jeffrey Jones isn't in this movie, I understand because... It happened a while ago, and that was pre-internet for the most part. But you can go look up what he did. It's not good stuff. There's a reason he's not in this movie. What the f***? see some random guy fall in the sewer, and he's walking around, and he goes, Hey, I need help. And he's greeted by Danny DeVito, a.k.a. the janitor, the dead janitor. Like I said, clearly, he's not doing too well. He's just trying to get his job done. But unfortunately, he gets electrocuted, knocks over some boxes, and that resurrects a new character who we find out. Her name is Dolores. Dolores is Beetlejuice's ex-wife. So <laughs> she proceeds to murder Danny DeVito's character again. So poor Danny DeVito, he's just dying twice. Um, Yeah. We see Jenna Ortega for the first time. Her character's name is Astrid, Lydia's daughter. Jenna Ortega is getting big, folks. And, of course, Tim Burton directed Wednesday for a few episodes. So, the fact that she is in this movie makes a lot of sense to me. We see Delia, Lydia, 
and Rory, <laughs> um, they're going to Astrid's school to tell her about her grandfather, how he passed away. And Rory was like, my grandfather died. I can take this one. And Lydia and Delia were like, really? When, when did he die? He's like, well, 40 years ago, but still my child, my inner child is still hurting from it. They're just like, that's the Rory character in this movie. He's just so stupid and so over the top with it. And right when they get to Astrid's school, they show Astrid in her room. And all you hear is, Astrid! Astrid! And I thought that was a nod to Catherine O'Hara being the mom in Home Alone. You know that? Kevin! That's what I thought. Maybe I'm overthinking that one, but I, I thought that was pretty funny regardless. And then we finally, I know we saw him earlier in the movie, but... We finally see him for a few minutes. Beetlejuice, Michael Keaton, one of my favorite actors. He still thinks he's married to Lydia. He's like, I'm going to get her back. Well, that's pretty good, Beetlejuice. <laughs> he's got her yearbook picture on his desk, which is so, so creepy. Considering how old he is and how old she was at the time, but... And yeah, Keaton, Beetlejuice, is still stuck where he was at the end of the first movie. That man is trying to get out, but he can't just yet. Then we meet Willem Dafoe. His character is a dead cop, but it was a cop in the TV world. So he's just this stupid, over-the-top, one-liner after one-liner, and cut a little in the future he just has a woman that throws him coffee and then he squeezes it just to get dramatic effect i don't know his character was really funny in this movie though we go to charles's funeral now we find out lydia and astrid aren't on the best of terms we find out astrid's father lydia's ex-husband died and she wants to talk to him because lydia can talk to ghosts but Lydia can't talk to him, and Astrid thinks she's lying. And like I said, we find out, officially, Dolores is Beetlejuice's ex-wife, and we see their wedding night, and it's pretty wild one. Keaton is speaking in another language, language I'm not sure of. But yeah, but even Beetlejuice is like, no, I want nothing to do with her, man. Rory proposes to Lydia at the funeral, or the after viewing, and... She says yes, but very, very reluctantly. And just a break from the movie. They filmed it in the same town they filmed the first one. That was pretty cool to see. I like them going back to their roots. So after that happens, Astrid is pretty angry with herself and her mother. So she gets on her bike and she rides. Just like typical teenager stuff. She's not paying attention. She almost gets hit a few times. And then she drives off like into the, not woods, but like, yeah, I, would, I guess you could call it the woods. And she runs through and she all of a sudden falls off the bike face first into a tree. I thought she was dead right there. I was like, oh, maybe she's going to go to the afterlife. Well, I wasn't totally wrong in that moment, but we'll get into that. She meets a boy named Jeremy. And Jeremy has lived in Winter River the name of the town in the movie his whole life now jeremy's a little weird says his parents don't care they don't get out much i thought his parents were going to be the maitlands but not exactly we'll get into the maitlands here in a minute and poor bob from beetlejuice beetlejuice is using him as a decoy he's like well bob if uh, if she comes looking and she finds you well you're, you're done you're taking this one for me <laughs> um and then Beetlejuice is reading the newspaper. And at one point in the newspaper, it says something about the workers' strike. I think that was thrown in there because they were a day and a half away from finishing filming when the actor's strike happened. Just my theory. But he sees that Charles died and he's like, oh, this is my way back in. And he gets back in there. And back to the maintenance. We know... Gina Davis is, shows up at the end of the movie. We'll get into that in a bit. We know why Alec Baldwin wasn't brought back. Very obvious. Murdered somebody. What the f***? So, Astrid asks what happens to the Maitlands, and Lydia just says, throwaway line. 
they found a loophole and they got out. And I said, I guess that's what happens when you murder somebody. You find a loophole and you get out. Not funny, but, you know. I don't know. I thought they would show the backs of them at least. Or maybe show Gina Davis in the back of Alec Baldwin. But uh, obviously no Alec Baldwin in this movie besides that mention. So Lydia tells Rory about Beetlejuice. And Rory is trying to get off philosophical. And then Rory breaks the number one rule. He says the B word, not that B word, the other B word, three times. And it goes about as well as she would have hoped. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. We see Lydia have a Beetlejuice baby and it pops out and Beetlejuice is the marriage counselor. But Lydia says home three times and gets away. And then we see on the stand of from the first movie we see peter juice playing the guitar trying to win back lydia and he also says in the one moment if trying to win back the love of your life is stalking well guilty is charged another funny keaton line keaton really killed it in this movie so jeremy and astrid are hanging out on halloween and we find out jeremy is a ghost not gonna say i didn't see it coming but I figured there was something off about this guy. Um, and we find out Jeremy actually murdered his parents 23 years ago. And then we see the parents eventually. And they have like a knife stuck in their face. And yeah, Jeremy takes Astrid to the afterlife. Jeremy's just trying to get back. He doesn't care about Astrid. And then we see Charles's body with no head and he's walking around. That is not Jeffrey Jones's voice. They used his picture, so I imagine he got paid in some way. Or maybe they just owned the footage. I don't know on that one. Um, if anybody knows, comment below. That's an interesting one. Lydia eventually says, I need help. So she says the B word three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And who appears? Not Joe Hendry. Beetlejuice. And he goes, the juice is loose, baby. An OJ reference, which is interesting because I believe he died like a month ago at this point now. Two months ago, maybe. So, that's funny. But 88, Beetlejuice was about eight years before he did it. So, yeah. She agrees to marry him to get Astrid back. And Beetlejuice is like, let's go, baby. Um, yeah, we'll get into that. So, we find out Beetlejuice brings Lydia to the afterlife. And that's a no-no in the afterlife. You cannot bring living people. To the afterlife. So Wolf Jackson, Willem Dafoe, gets a team together to try and knock out Beetlejuice. They're like, we gotta stop this guy. And then we finally see Astrid's dad in the afterlife. She's being taken away and she, he's like, Astrid? She's like, dad? Mini reunion. But then we finally have the family reunion. We see um, Astrid and Lydia go to, I think it was Jupiter. And Richard, the father, saves them from a sandworm. And that sandworm is coming back for sure. But <laughs> at one point, Wolf Jackson is interrogating Bob. And Bob's like, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then, unfortunately, Dolores murders Bob again. So, so, so tragic. And then we see Delia go to Charles's grave with some snakes to honor him and the snakes get her so she's done for the <laughs> she bought some faulty snakes on like amazon they said or something it was quite comical that's why i thought Catherine o'hara was really hysterical in this movie at one point in the movie she told lydia because they were talking about lydia and astrid's relationship she's like yeah i did blame you for so and so dying and lydia's just like but she's not dead. And Catherine O'Hare is like, really? <laughs> so it's just like, Catherine O'Hare has no idea what's going on in this movie. But it's so hysterical. <laughs> but back to it. Delia asks for Beetlejuice's help to find Charles and the VIP lounge. Because, of course, that's why I thought she was great in this movie. We see Jeremy trying to get his ticket stamped back to reality. And... She, he's like, I'm sorry, it's done. And he looks at it and it says, not active or whatever. And Beetlejuice is the one stamping it. 
<laughs> he says, goodbye, pucker. The one F-bomb, well, they use another one, but we'll get into that. And then Jeremy falls into the underground of fire, and I don't think we're ever going to see Jeremy again. We finally get to the wedding of Rory and Lydia, but who crashes the wedding? Beetlejuice. And he drugs Rory, and Rory ends up coming clean about how and why he wanted to marry Lydia. Money. He just wanted the money, folks. He wanted the payout. That's all he wanted. So, <laughs> And uh, Peter just looks at Astrid at one point and goes, you can call me dad now. And just look so creepy. And Beetlejuice is holding Lydia to her deal. And then probably one of the weirdest parts of the movie, the weird sing-along at the wedding. Hats off to Catherine O'Hara, Jenna Ortega, Winona Ryder, Michael Keaton. They all danced in unison and were mouthing the words of the song. I just found it very weird, but uh, Beetle just goes, everybody loves a good dream sequence. Eventually, Dor Dolores crashes the wedding, and Beetlejuice is like, uh-oh. <laughs> and she wants Beetlejuice's soul. The sandworm comes back and eats Rory and Dolores. But in the scene before that, Beetlejuice is like, no, he's a big fan of yours, and he's pointing to Rory. And he somehow rips Rory's shirt off and it says, I heart Dolores. Dolores is like, oh, that was just a distraction so Beetlejuice can get the upper hand. But he's trying to go through with marrying Lydia. And then Astrid says, no, 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 no. You brought somebody to the afterlife. This contract is null and void. Wolf takes Delia to the afterlife. And Delia's like, yeah, I'm here to stay, unfortunately. If there is a Beetlejuice 3, I sure she'll be in it somehow but we're at the end of the movie now folks we think it's a happy ending we see lydia and astrid going on vacation lydia retires from her show she wants to make memories with her daughter so sweet and then we see astrid get married to some guy and we see astrid giving birth nice music is playing then all of a sudden a beetlejuice baby comes out and he's crawling up the wall and she, he lands in Jenna Ortega's arms. It was very, very creepy. But Lydia wakes up. She's like, huh. Oh, oh. And all of a sudden, in the bed next to her, you see Beetlejuice. She's like, you wouldn't believe the dream I just had. She wakes up again, alone in the bed. And she's like, oh. end of movie. No mid credits, no after credits. I think they opened the door for Beetlejuice three or Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I said it. It's making a lot of money at this point. We'll get into that in a future video, but I think the door is open for that first ever Keaton trilogy. And that is my review on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm going to give you a hot take here, folks. I liked this one better than the first one. And we'll get into that in a future video, but you give me more Beetlejuice. Winona Ryder was great. She was the star of the movie. You give me a very hilarious Catherine O'Hara, and then you add Jenna Ortega and Rory on top of it. I know I'm in the minority, but I like this one better. And we're going to do a second video on why I liked it better. And then we'll dive into the box office and the facts of that, of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So that would be cool. That would be coming out like mid-October-ish. So, but comment below what you thought of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Did you enjoy it? I'm giving it like a 7 out of 10. If you're going in expecting a perfect movie, don't. If you want to go in and enjoy your time and be entertained, this is the movie for you. But with that being said, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Like I said, we got Beetlejuice content coming. That's like, that might be actually early October. I'm not sure. I gotta figure out the order. But one of my next two videos we made it, folks. We're finally here. Joker, Fale, Adu. That review will be coming because that movie is, at the time of recording, two weeks out. But with that being said, I am Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns, and we will see you all in the next one. Later. Bobby's Breakdowns.